Hey, good morning, guys. Your old buddy Stevo here. I uh, want to do the uh, bariatric update thing that I haven't done. I'm about two weeks, <laughs> two weeks late on doing this one. Uh, I, I did a video and uh, I was going to edit it and put it out, and somewhere in the shuffle it got lost. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, I don't delete any of the videos that I've got. I've got all the raw footage I've done since we started this way back in April. So I'm not sure where this one went. Uh, anyway, uh, it's uh, really 15 days out since I went to the doctor last, which means I got two weeks left for the next one. Uh, on the last visit, it was actually a five week visit because of the way 4th of July fell and that kind of stuff. So I lost 10 pounds in that five weeks, which is about what I was doing before was I was just losing seven or eight, you know, basically two pounds a week and I was dead on that again. Uh, me, since then, uh, my last weigh-in this week, I was at uh, 372, which is lighter than I have been maybe in 20 years. It's certainly lighter than I've been in any kind of time frame. Uh, that uh, where I was doing any kind of real measuring and looking at my weight so yay for me uh, I guess uh, part of that is uh, just uh, trying to just continuing to eat right trying to get up move around it's been a little tough to move around the weather here has been miserable I don't have any other way to say it it's been hot and humid in the daytime and then somewhere between 430 and midnight or sometimes overnight we have screaming thunderstorms every time the Sorry, I thought something went across the floor. There's a fan in here and something blew over. Uh, so, I, uh, I've been uh, dealing with the thunderstorms. Every time the thunderstorms roll through, I, uh, I get uh, muscle cramps and aches and stuff. You know, it goes with the fibromyalgia and arthritis thing. Anybody that's uh, been beat up a little bit can tell you the weather affects them greatly. It certainly does me. And when the, uh, those fronts come through and do this thing, you know, over the top of where I live two or three times a day, those are not great days. Uh, so that's uh, between the heat and the daytime and not being able to get outside and do a lot. And, uh, and you, there's a video about not getting out there. You need to watch that stupid so 3, uh, stupid beekeeper in the heat. Uh, watch it because it's, it's interesting. I started not to put it up because it makes me look kind of foolish. Then again, on the other hand, I thought maybe somebody will watch this and get a good laugh out of it. Hey, look at that fat jackass. He almost killed himself in the heat. And then the next time it's hot, they'll think to themselves, hey, I don't want to be a jackass. Whether they're fat or thin, it doesn't matter. So anyway, I've uh, been stuck in a house. Haven't gotten as much done as I wanted to. I'm way behind on bee stuff. Uh, I'm behind on doing stuff in here because I haven't felt great. Uh, so uh, as far as the surgery goes, we're still on track. Let me get back on track with the video we're supposed to be doing. Uh, as far as surgery goes, we're back on track. I have one visit left, just one, and uh, that'll be the one where the doctor puts all the records together and he'll send it off to the appropriate officials. And hopefully, in uh, two to three weeks, they'll uh, they'll send uh, the uh, the approval back and say, okay, go ahead with this thing. I don't think we're going to have any trouble with the insurance. We didn't have any trouble with it before but it's saving me a ton of money by doing this six month thing. You can either do it immediately and pay a big chunk or you can do this six month weight loss thing to prove to the insurance company that you're really serious about this crap and then you can uh, you can uh, deduct a huge chunk of money, thousands of dollars in my case. So we waited the six months and uh, it was worth the money to me. And so that's where we are with the last visit and then uh, you know when we get a, a date for the surgery I will uh, report that and then my intention as I've said before is to keep doing these videos uh, and uh, give folks an update uh, I don't know that anybody's ever gonna watch these and get a big inspiration out of them but it has given me some points of reference to go back and look at these and say ah, that you know you, you you did this or you said that or you said this did that and it uh, it's been good to kind of keep me going uh, one thing I have noticed is that I can see the difference in myself from the first video five and a half months ago to this one. Uh, <laughs> oddly enough, uh, I, I tended to buy my clothes too big anyway 
you know, if I needed a size 6X, I bought a 7 because I don't like tight clothes. I like to be comfortable. Uh, the problem with that is, is I've lost, as I've lost weight, I mean, every time you lose 10 pounds, you can't go out and buy a new wardrobe. I certainly can't. So I've just been continuing to wear the same stuff. On uh, Wednesday afternoon, my better half and I had eye doctor appointments, and because of the way that building faces, they have the uh, uh, non-glare stuff on the outside of their, their doors and windows at the front of the building, and basically it's a huge mirror. And as I walked up there, I thought to myself, I look like I'm wearing somebody else's clothes because my shirt was hanging on me, the pants were, you know, my, my shorts were obviously gathered up, and you know my legs were banging around in there like a clapper in a in a bell. So those are not bad things, but. Uh, and the wardrobe thing is becoming starting to become an issue so uh, which is a good thing I mean that's where I need to be I mean if the point of all this was to lose weight and I'm losing weight then I'm doing the right thing uh, one last thing for going on this when I put out the last video the little uh, jam together so that I did because I was in a rush to do other stuff uh, one of my family members through some series of events saw that video and she became concerned and called my mom because evidently they didn't see the first videos. All she saw was that one, and I was talking about having surgery. So she called my mom, what's going on, you know, why is he having surgery? And uh, so that was, uh, was kind of nice to know that, you're, that uh, your family's concerned about you. They didn't just go, you know, well, if it's, obviously I was still upright and speaking, so it couldn't be that serious. But uh, thanks, Aunt Pat, for caring and loving about me. Very much so. Miss all you guys. Hope to see you soon. Anyway, that's if you see this. I don't know if she'll see this. Somebody call Aunt Pat and tell her I put this on here for her. Love you, mean it. Give everybody a hug for us. Uh, so that's about it for this morning. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up. i got a ton of stuff i got to do today. Uh, and uh, i got to do it quick because it's supposed to be 95 here today and 99 tomorrow. And it's going to be humid, so it's uh, not quite seven o'clock yet right now. And I got to go do some running around, and uh, I'm going to try to do as much as I can in the morning before noon. And then it's at noon I'm coming in into conversation and uh, do some stuff in here. I got plenty I can do in the house today, uh, some of which will have to be done sitting down uh, because I'm sure it's already humid out there. Anyway, that's all I got for right now. And uh, you guys be well. This is uh, Stevo. We're out of here for uh, some period of time, and uh, we'll keep you updated on all this. Hey guys, thanks for sticking with me on this, and uh, thanks for the comments and stuff I get over at uh, uh, Shit Hit the Fan Movement and other places. You know, I've gotten some comments on the on these videos. People saying they think I'm really brave for doing this. I don't. I don't I'm probably much braver walking around weighing 500 pounds for all these years. <laughs> Because that's Russian roulette at its best right there. So anyway, I'm going to let you go right now. Everybody have a good weekend or a good week whenever you find this. Have a good day when you find it. And uh, this is your old buddy Steve-O. We're out of here for right now. Y'all be well.